Hey you guys, PJD here. I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be part three, the final installment of the Black Friday Get This Not That series for 2020. So let's jump right in. I did see some of your requests and, and comments and things you were asking. So let me just kick it off with one thing that I know was requested and I'll get to some of the others as well. The Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush. I got it last Black Friday. She did do a Black Friday sale, but combining the sale with then taking into account the shipping, it, I, I, was it the shipping or something else? Anyway, it, it kind of came close to what the original price was anyway, but it was fine. Wanted to support and I wanted to check out this brush. One thing I can tell you about it, as you can see, it's not a traditional just flat handle, but even the ridging here allows you like easy grip, nice grip. So I thought that was a nice detail that they added <laughs> in the handle. Okay, so as you can see, each row of bristles, they can be separated. One thing that I noticed immediately with this brush and all of the little bristles, let me just say, they're kind of, hopefully you can see, they're kind of curved, rounded uh, bristles. So it's not like they're snagging against your hair. It's really well produced. This is the one of the first things that I noticed. It is a sturdy brush. So even as I'm using my force, my might, Notice how it doesn't distort the shape of the brush and everything. It comes all right back in formation. And again, I've been using this. I got this last Black Friday. So pretty much a year's worth of use. And this looks like the day I got it. Right. So one thing is if your hair is really hard to detangle and you struggle and maybe you are the person you've broken many brushes you may want to give this one a try. This may be the one to stand up to your hair and your tangles. Now, of course, your hair is fragile, so you want to be gentle and kind of working through. But I'm just saying that this one has the resistance needed, especially if you have hair that may be more challenging to get through if you're trying to do that with a brush. So, yeah, so boop, boop, boop. I like that all the rows can separate and it comes right back in shape. Now, when I use this detangling brush, it is one that... Is almost just for that purpose it is to detangle and to get through a particular section let's say I have a conditioner or some cream or something in my hair oh and because the bristles can separate so easily it is really nice when you're ready to wash it out and get in between the bristles and make sure everything is cleaned out but as I'm combing it through I notice that it it almost keeps it it doesn't encourage the appearance or the definition of curls and the reason I mention that is because this brush the Denman which I have, is a lot more flexible and almost the curvature of the brush kind of. Now, originally when I got it, it was more so like this, where the bristles were a bit closer together. But as you can see, they're kind of spreading out. This is my second Denman because the first one is was really to the point where it could no longer be used because the bristles are not as strong as the Felicia Leatherwood brush, which is why this is my second one. But I liked it enough to repurchase. But again, um, so the bristles, once they really, really go wonky and they're like and going in their own direction, then it's almost pointless, right? At least going against my particular hair type. But one thing about this particular brush that I do like is let's say I do have cream or some products, a moisturizing product in my hair and I'm going through, this one almost encourages the curls. It almost wants to bounce back up and kind of do things that my hair wouldn't typically do, look more ringlet-like. This one, the Felicia Leatherwood one, is kind of just getting out the tangles and it's it's straight in its formation. As you can see, it doesn't have um, much give to it, so it's not kind of yielding to your hair, your hair will probably yield to it <laughs> first. So that may also, you know, be a reason why there is a difference in the way my hair responds in terms of either curling or not. But if I'm just here to strictly detangle, I really don't care about the curling or will it encourage the appearance of definition. So they're both good brushes. I like them. I can also say in this segment that there is a brush from the Dew that is turquoise in color and the Felicia Leatherwood comes in different colors as well. But it's turquoise in color from the Dew and instead of being like this, like kind of just a straight brush, it it looks like the pattern of a maze. Oh, almost kind of, I don't want to say zigzag, but it's it's like a maze. So I'm interested in that brush. The only thing about it is the Dew has $10 shipping. Last week, they actually re released their first moisturizing deep conditioning. They called it deep conditioning mask. And the eight ounce, it comes in two sizes. The eight ounce was priced at $14.99. I know this was a quick <laughs> departure to the Dew, but the eight ounce was marked at $14.99. The 16 ounce was $24.99. But either way, if you put the eight ounce in your cart or the 16 ounce, that shipping was $10. So I already know for Black Friday, I'm not going to spend 
the price for the brush even if she gives the what was it 25% or maybe even a 30% discount on that brush or on all her site wide but then I'm tacking on the $10 shipping I can wait just like I decided to wait for her conditioner as well it's probably awesome I'll try it at some point just not now the $10 just annoyed me <laughs> so I didn't do that but anyway I say all that to say the dude has a brush that I want and this is the Felicia Leatherwood one also a nice cool brush Denman it's fine too people have been using Denman for a long time all right so that was one request down we have some other things to go through um oh let me let me knock this one off quickly this will be a this is almost kind of like a both you can get either one but I'll just tell you my rationale behind it last year Camille Rose released a shampoo bar I think this is the first shampoo bar that she has ever released it was the shikaki bar it looks like this I, it came in this little resealable reusable bag that's like really nice and gummy I, I like it it has um the little camille rose uh, symbol on it so great all that stuff it seals up very nicely you don't care about the bag there are no ingredients here so i don't remember exactly what's in it hopefully she has it on her website still i don't even know if she still sells this or if this was just a special thing for black friday maybe she'll bring it back this black friday because this is and it was shaped like a little rose design there it's a good shampoo bar. Um, it cleansed my hair for sure. It allowed me to get my fingers through there and kind of detangle while the suds were in there. It felt moisturized after I washed it out. To me, this is a really, really good bar. And again, I remember that the ingredients were good. I just don't remember everything that was in it and there was no labeling or anything that comes with it. Just comes in this little baggie. So it's a good bar. I like the bar. If you get the bar, I think you'll be happy with the bar. The only thing is, I believe it was priced at $16. And then, of course, with her um, Black Friday discount, you get a little money off. But this was kind of one of those things I threw in the cart at the end. Like, mm, yeah, I'll do it. But for the price, eh, I probably wouldn't. So I would say don't get this. You can get this because it's a good bar. But I, it's not at the top of my list of bars because a bar that I actually think is better, which is less expensive, is Bobeam. There's so many companies that we can support and a variety of ways and of course you can't who can throw their money at every company you can't right so we kind of want to be selective but one company that I do enjoy is Bobeam and this is their honey and oats was the exact name honey and oats shampoo bar and I just want to get it out of this packaging but this is a company I've spoken about in the past I enjoy Bobeam uh, and their products but this is the honey and oats shampoo bar these bars can last a really long time in fact since the last time that I hauled this which again was a long time ago this is still one of the bar I haven't even got and of course because of wash day I use different things at different times so it's not like I'm using this exclusively but um these bars last a really good long time. So anyhow, this is another one that you may want to support because when comparing it to the Camille Rose one, it does the same thing. It leaves my hair feeling as if it had been cleansed. I can get my fingers through it and detangle well. It leaves my hair feeling moisturized. The difference between the two is I get more moisture actually from the Bobeam one than the Camille Rose one. That's the only kind of notch up in its belt that it really has over the Camille one. And I don't know how many ounces the Camille Rose one is. And of course, it got a in it it's been worn down because I've used this many times but the fact that I still have this much of it shows that it's you know a good long-lasting bar as well and the Bobeam one you get 3.8 ounces but they're both really good whichever one you get it could be a get this but if you're choosing between the two I would go Bobeam just for that additional moisture that you would get from the product all right Ooh, I'm trying to do good on time today so we'll see because I don't want to keep you forever I really want to blow through these things I have right here let me talk about oh let me do this I can do this one quickly because I haven't really used it so there's not much to say this is just me in terms of I have used it but I haven't used it extensively and I haven't gone through all these pieces so we'll talk about that but I'm just showing you another company that you may choose to support because they were on my Black Friday list I've never purchased from Bell Bar Organic in the past but my sister happened to she beat me to the punch and she got uh, a box so uh, she got me a box so um, I can show you what's in this particular box this brand is really like they're giving you kind of the natural raw ingredients and a little booklet that tells you different recipes depending on what it is you're trying to do with your hair and of course based on whatever ingredients you have in your particular box so this one has two bottles of the um onion and garlic thickening ayurvedic herb 
hair oil. If you can see that. Um, two bottles of that in here. And again, the recipes will tell you mix this much of this with that. And, you know, in order to achieve whatever it is you're trying to look for, whether, oh, I want my hair to be really moisturized or I'm looking for shine. This box also came with a little jar of Strengthening Gloss Hair Gloss Henna. Right. So the thing I like about this company is, again, it's starting from and it has it's starting from the basics. It's giving you like these raw ingredients and just giving you recipes for how you can mix certain things. I like that concept. I like that idea. Here's another thing that was in the box before I go on. Green tea, strengthening tea rinse. And you see all the little herbs in here. And look, I can turn over so you can see the ingredient list if that will come out well. So will I be purchasing from Bell Bar Organics this Black Friday? I'm not certain. I'm certainly going and I know she already started doing like certain select sales. So I, I don't know. I will definitely head over to the site to see what's going on and to check things out. But I can tell you this in particular, this green tea made me remember Brown Butter Beauty who used to sell and I hope still sells these tea bags, which just like this, instead of me having to take out and measure out a certain amount of this product that I need and boil and do all this. She had it already in a tea bag with nettle was in there and all sorts of great uh, herbs and roots and all that. In the tea bag, you would still have to boil the tea bag, but there was nothing to measure. It was just you take the one tea bag, you would steep it and let it, of course, cool, put it on my hair. And I loved it. And this actually made me remember that I haven't purchased from that or other things from Brown Butter Beauty in a long time. Again, because it's like an explosion. There's so many companies to support. This is one. If you don't mind doing the whole measuring thing, then... <laughs> And what is it to measure? It's nothing. It's a small task, right? But um, I used only one, and it wasn't this one. The other one I had was guacamole. It came with this rice water packet for shine and strength to make a hair mask. I already, <coughs> excuse me, I already used the guacamole one, so that's already finished. And they tell you which active ingredients to mix in. They may tell you add in honey. If you're trying to do this, mix this amount of the henna. And it's like your, your own little chemist in the lab putting together all these different ingredients mixing it up for whatever it is that your hair needs but you're using these natural wonderful ingredients and I, I used the guacamole one and I did honey and I did some other mixture in there and my hair really did feel moisturized and nice so I am a believer in natural and good ingredients in the hair it does something for you it does something for me I like it you can also purchase because this also made me remember that back in the day I used to buy like my own pure hibiscus and add it to conditioners or other things so you can do that as well that was something that was also on my list to do this Black Friday to get back to buying some of the basics and doing my own DIYs and mixing it in with certain conditioners and just seeing what results I would get but if you are not into that and you want everything kind of packaged for you Although with this one, you still need to do the measurements and figure out what it is you want for your hair. But another brand to support, I say all that to say, is Bell Bar Organic. So there you go. I like the packaging and all. So yep, that's another brand. But again, I haven't used that beyond that guacamole mask and some of the other ingredients that were in there. Because I mixed it with the henna and some honey and some other things. But my results were good. So I like the brand um, and interested in other things that they sell because it's not just that box. They have other offerings too. Okay, I can, this will be quick. So let me, let me get this one off. Um, Myel Organics, just if we're going to segue to drops. The Rice Border Collection, I didn't do it here on YouTube. And I'm pretty sure this is the last thing because it was on a dresser and I kind of forgot about it. The last thing that remains I had given away some other stuff, but I had purchased the entire rice water collection. I mentioned on IG, but not here on YouTube because I haven't done a video in a year, <laughs> that this line was very, very drying for my hair. This is supposed to be their split-in healer. Healer. It says you can use it daily. As you can see, it kind of, if I can show you in between, not so much. I kind of did a little shaking, but it may separate and give you kind of a white, frothy appearance up top and then uh, maybe a more clear at the bottom, but you can shake it up. And anyway, the entire rice water collection for me is a don't get this. The scent is not bad, kind of perfumey. And yeah, it just runs down like that, almost like the consistency of water. But they were basically saying you could put it on your hair daily. You could also do it as like a treatment, put it on your hair, put a plastic cap on. Whatever I ended up doing, my hair felt dry. 
didn't like it so this is a, a don't get from me the rice water and it's really hard to show you the ingredients on this because it's really reflective and the packaging is just a little hard but the first ingredient the main thing in here is water the second is hydrolyzed collagen and it has some other things in here as well but that's it it left my hair dry so I wasn't interested in that if you are looking to do something by way of drops so although it's not the same thing, it's not necessarily a split and healer, but I do still like the Curls brand, their Blueberry Mint Tea Scalp Treatment. This definitely leaves you with a tingle. Sometimes I just like to put this on my scalp and I'm, I'm not talking about this by way of hair growth or anything like this. I'm just saying the sensation, it doesn't leave me feeling, you know, like having some yucky, horrible buildup on my hair, on my scalp. I like it. It gives me the tingle. Sometimes I put it on before bed and I'm just like, ah, take me away. Like it feels really good. So I like this one. It's a four ounce bottle. Curls in more recent years, they've been doing different things with their sales. In the past, they used to have like just a site wide sale. Of, you know, what was it? 50% off or 40% off. A good sale they used to do in the past. But now it's been more targeted sales. Like they will tell you what's on sale. Like maybe just a blueberry collection. Black Friday sale or Cyber Monday will just be, you know, this particular collection. So I don't know what they have planned this year, but if you wanted to check out something or just support curls in general, this um, mint oil, this blueberry and mint tea scalp treatment is a nice one and it smells minty and it feels tingly on the scalp. I guess I know I've spoken about this one in the past, but I can just quickly show you the ingredients there. Safflower oil is like number one so it's mainly saffron oil but as I mentioned that I am using this really for I just love that tingling feeling the blueberry seed oil is toward the bottom not the absolute bottom but it, it's pretty far down there <laughs> but I do like that little tingling sensation that I get on my scalp from it another thing that I do like in terms of drops is from my Yow. this is the rosemary mint scalp and hair strengthening oil infused with biotin it says it encourages growth okay you know how some of those labels are but anyway I like this I will also say that she and this is a slightly thicker oil than the one from um that I just showed you from curls maybe I can do a side by side this is the Myel drop and let me see which one falls first or kind of drops down first not that you didn't ask not that you asked for this but I'm gonna let's do a test this is the Myel one and these two double drops that's the curls one yeah it wasn't proving the point I thought it would but anyway <laughs> they're, they're both oils they're both good um this one does not give the tingle at all the Myel one no ting or anything like that, but I'm fine with that. But I just like putting this on again, another one with no buildup. It's fine for me to use on my scalp. This one is more, um, yeah, this one for sure has like a, a minty scent to it as well, but it doesn't give me the tingle. The other day, Mayel said their Black Friday, they were getting started now and they had a variety of their collections on sale for $4.99. So I was going to get this and other things and I was filling up my basket. When I went to check out, the shipping was $15. And I thought maybe because... I had, you know, a good amount of this and, and some other things, like small items. And again, it was $4.99 for each of the things, but, um, you know, the quantity. So I said, oh, let me reduce this and let me just see. When I reduced it to probably I had three, four, five, let's say like six items because I was just like testing. The shipping was still 15 I was like, mm, no, <laughs> I'll either wait till Black Friday and see if she does something or, or not. I'm just really not pressed this Black Friday. So whatever happens happens uh, another thing by way of drops and this is also something that's on my black friday list castor oil i am not going to be too picky on where it come from comes from as long as it's pure crayol essence is one and i say pure but i mean it's castor oil but this particular one is the chocolate scent <laughs> and I, I did use this up i wish i would have done a real real test because crayol essence is not actually cheap if you're getting one of the scented ones if you get the bottle and this is how many ounces 3.4 ounces if you get the original one with like no scent or anything that one I think is the less the least expensive one and it's about $18 but the rest are in the 20s for a bottle of 3.4 ounces of castor oil but what the company owners claim is that the process by which they're kind of grinding down the the castor the the beans it's different than the Jamaican black castor oil production process and that it's done at a different um heat and certain things and like it's supposed to be better and even extracting even better um ingredients from it and it's supposed to be better for you overall I shouldn't say better for you but higher quality 
is what they claim. So I wish I would have done like a split head test for a month, one side only using the Crayola Essence and the other side using a typical kind of also pure Jamaican uh, black castor oil version. And I didn't do that, but this one certainly didn't disturb me at all. It was fine. It was nice to use. I got through the bottle. I have very, very little left in here. Let me try and show you. It's typical thick castor oil. The only thing is the scent of it is um, different because it has the, I got the chocolate one. So it's not the traditional castor oil scent. It smells like a light chocolate scent built in there, like a little cocoa scent. So it has that, but they also have mango papaya, which my sister got that one. I smelled hers. It smells really good, but that was the most expensive one they sell. I think that bottle is, and same size, but I think that one was like nearly $30. So Crayola Essence, even though I would, you know, like to support, I would like to see what they're going to be doing Black Friday. I don't know. But also Sunny Isle sells castor oil as well as a Tropic Isle. And they too have, if you want one infused with lavender and other things, you can get that from uh, them as well. And then there's Rooted Treasure. Treasure. So Rooted Treasure is another one that I'm looking to support uh, this year. But again, we'll, we'll just see what those prices and those sales are looking like. But yeah, Castor Oil as a general umbrella is on my list. But that Crayola Essence one was fine. As was the Sunny Isle one and Tropic Isle. Those were all fine too. Next up, let's talk, since we're kind of talking with the Bell Bar Organics, talking about like natural ingredients, it makes me come to mind something by Pretty Fizzies. Not this particular item, I'll talk about this item first. Um, no, I'll talk first about the Pretty Fizzies that I don't actually have, but there is a conditioner that they have, a deep conditioner that has hibiscus in it, and it has hibiscus, I believe, in the name of it. When I actually got it, and it's all finished now, I only got one jar of it uh, during the summer, and it has actual, you can see the hibiscus in it and my hair was left soft. So if you want to support Pretty Fizzies, that is a conditioner that I think was a nice one and I think you would enjoy it because it, again, left my hair feeling soft and conditioners don't always do that. The thing that would be a don't get this from Pretty Fizzies would be this creme brulee. Uh, it says Moisture Max Souffle. It's supposed to be a hair moisturizer. Um, the scent, first of all, is almost overly sweet a scent. Um, I guess that's supposed to be like creme brulee, but I'm not a fan of this particular scent. Um, and I do like sweet scents in general, but this particular one, mm, not so great. But once it's in your hair, it's not as if it lingers too tough unless your hair is like kind of dangling down and by your nose, then you'll probably smell it. But otherwise, it's kind of out of your way then, kind of out of sight, out of mind as it pertains to the scent. I'm going to read off the ingredient list to you right here. Actually, I'm going to show it so you can see it for yourself. I don't know if there's more information on their site. I didn't check, but here are the ingredients. Check this out. Enriched with watermelon seed oil, manuka honey, aloe vera, vitamin E, and lots of love. That's all it says. It doesn't say fragrance. It doesn't, it doesn't say anything else. But um, so this would be a don't get this also because it, it did nothing to like make my hair feel ooh, it's so juicy and moisturized. It feels moisturized and fine upon initial application, but once it dries down, it just feels middle of the road normal. Um, even as soon as it dries down, that's how it feels. So it's not even like I can get through the full next day. I put it on at night and I can get through the full next day. No, it would start feeling just middle of the road, very basic. You wouldn't even think I put something on to make it moisturize, especially not something that's called Moisture Max. <laughs> so yeah, this would be a don't get this for me, but pretty fizzy. You may want to check out their hibiscus uh, infused conditioner. That was nice and left my hair soft. Or if you're on that hibiscus hunt, Sultanicals. Right, we're always here to support Sultanicals. Sultanicals, they have great sales every year. I can't recall if it was... 50% or 60% but something great Io does every year you know her ingredients are always going to be nice I will never forget there was an oil that she came out with she may still sell this I don't recall because sometimes she switches out some of her offerings but it had broccoli seed oil as an ingredient now, I don't remember ever having a product before hers that had broccoli seed oil in it so she's always introducing something new and it's not like your basic run-of-the-mill list of ingredients so I appreciate this this is the hibiscus hair healer healthy I had to make sure it came into focus healthy scalp therapy mask it's kind of a light pink in color maybe that can come through just a bit the scent is like I'm not really sure maybe slightly floral in scent but and usually I don't like floral scents and I like this scent so it's like 
floral and maybe a touch of sweet but it's a nice scent I appreciate it this leaves my hair um it does leave my hair soft I'm going to show you another thing from Soltanicals too but let's check out the ingredient list first oh come on lighting be, be, be kind because hibiscus yeah see it's fairly close to the very top of the list so you start off with purified water yes and then what's the very next thing botanically infused with hibiscus leaves Actually, the comma comes after that, so that is the first ingredient. Purified water that's botanically infused with hibiscus leaves. So that's out the gate, number one thing, in, well, the infusion of it in number one ingredient. So, you know, she's good with her ingredients. Sorry if I took time away from that and you didn't see <laughs> the full ingredient list right here. So here we go. Buckthorn oil. And see, she ends with love as well. <laughs> uh, so magnesium oil, Moroccan clay in here. So I, I like this product. It leaves my hair feeling soft. I'll show you the consistency of it. It's one of those you can turn upside down. It's not going to just slide right out. Just took a little dollop of it. It's nothing sticky at all about it. Nice creamy conditioner. Leaves my hair feeling soft. It's a nice one. I, I almost feel like anywhere you go with Sultanicals conditioners, you're pretty much in, in, you know, good step. Everything may not work to the same degree as something else because I'm going to show you something else from Sultanicals that I would go with before I get the healthy hair mask again. This was just if you are interested in hibiscus and in which case, if you want to do a comparison between the hibiscus from uh, Pretty Fizzies versus the one from this Sultanicals product, I would say go the Sultanicals route, not only because... I feel like I'm seeing more of the ingredient list of what's actually in here, but also because um, of the scent. Um, not that the I remember the hibiscus one having any kind of funny scent or whatever it was fine, but I do uh, like this scent. And also my hair was softer with this one when compared to the Pretty Fizzy one, but the Pretty Fizzy one was good too for their hibiscus infused uh, conditioner. But yeah, I would go Sultanicals on that. And she has great sales. And I have no idea what Pretty Fizzies will do by way of sale for Black Friday. Here's another thing that left my hair soft from Sultanicals. It is the Glide and Go Deep Ayurvedic Fenugreek Mask Treatment. Now, this particular one, it says right here with herbal teas and botanicals. And these are eight ounce jars. And I'll show you the ingredient list in a particular, in a second. So it has fenugreek um, in here. And that was another thing that was kind of the hot topic uh, ingredient that was in many products last year and this year as well. She's also telling you that it has licorice root in here and what that's supposed to do for your hair. Open up your pores. Uh, the fenugreek is supposed to stimulate blood flow to the scalp, nourishes the hair follicles. Let's take a look at the ingredient list because this left my hair and it, it had more slip for me. The honey, the hibiscus one that I just showed you felt more thick gliding it across my hair, but the fenugreek one just felt more like it had more slip to it where I was able to rake it through more easily through my hair. But not that the hibiscus one was difficult, but I just feel like it was an easier go with this particular fenugreek one and it left my hair softer even than the hibiscus one. I love hibiscus and, and stuff, but um, I've already, I know this has the little in it. This is a new one, but I've already used <laughs> this from before. Full jar of it already gone. So let me just show you this one. And the scent of this one is like, oatmeal almost like an oatmeal -y. If if you've ever purchased a bar soap that the oatmeal scent that kind of scent so that's what it smells like this is a thick almost looks kind of like oatmeal um, boom there we go <laughs> almost kind of disappears into my hand ready to absorb it has enough softness and like slip that I can get it through my hair easily and then it leaves my hair softer if I had to do levels I would say the hibiscus one 10 being the softest my hair could feel. The hibiscus one leaves me at a, let's say seven and a half, and I'll say this one leaves me at mm, seven, seven and a half, and I'll say this one leaves me at, let's say an eight, eight and a half. So this one leaves my hair softer than um, the other, or, or maybe we'll just leave it at a flat eight, but it's, it's good. I like it and I can see myself getting it again. I think she had this in the leader sale. I didn't purchase it as a leader, but, um, it's a good product. <laughs> so this is something that I would recommend from Sultanicals. And I'm just going to show you the ingredient list right here. Distilled water, number one for this, uh, fenugreek slide and go. It has neem powder in it, licorice root, 
fenugreek in here and again I like when the final ingredient is not the thing that they're promoting on the, the bottle so it's a little higher up on the list so anyway sultanicals I feel like this is a brand you can trust I like her so there we go that's another sultanicals item and her sales are again are always really good Let's talk Unicurl for a quick second. I'm not doing so horribly on time. Last year, she released uh, this Moisture Fantasy Moisturizing Conditioner. I'm going to show you two jars of it because one is pink <laughs> and one is clearly white. And these are my last two full jars of it. I've gone through many other jars, some of the jars, and they came like this. It's not like, you know... Uh, over time it changed it came like this where some were white in the box and some were pink um i don't recall her saying she was doing that intentionally but in either case if yours comes with a slight pink hue or it comes white which i think white is the way it's supposed to look they both work the same it was totally fine i just mentioning it don't be alarmed <laughs> if uh you see you get a little pink version of it so anyway it's creamy creamy product here this one smells minty definitely more on the minty side which is different from the deep conditioner which we've discussed in the past so I'm not going to review that one but I just want to tell you by way of comparison this says and this I thought was really telling about what this particular product is supposed to do it says get max hydration and slip in half the time of a deep conditioner and then it was saying it's a moisture pack product and she really recommends that you put this on for I'm pretty sure it was yeah five to ten minutes and you're supposed to get maximum hydration and really hydrated hair now as you know when I reviewed the deep conditioner this is one that I felt like really really left my hair feeling soft and silky moisturized really really great deep conditioner this one does not smell minty this one has the scent of if you've ever smelled the unicurl um four in one styler where that one smells more sweet and cake like this conditioner smells like that too and it's um it's a really good conditioner so this that she released last year is to me the the baby version the little sister to this mega one right so whatever this one does by way of moisture and conditioning your hair and making it feel soft and silky this one can do it too it just I feel like this one needs to sit in your hair a bit longer and, and here's another telling point this is all to the same point I often use and this really only came to my mind as a something that I realized or recognized in my hair care routine when I started developing my best of list this goes back years is that I had been using because I wanted to have it in different categories so I was trying to figure out what my conditioner categories were but the things that I was labeling as conditioners on, on the label they're deep conditioners so I have been traditionally using because my hair my hair needed and still needs so much moisture and extra attention that what would be a deep conditioner for someone I would use that as like a, a wash out conditioner because a regular conditioner those were pretty much just cast those to the side they're not going to do anything for me so when I could find something that is just a straight conditioner it's not labeled as a deep conditioner just a straight conditioner that can get me almost or close to the level of a deep conditioner and I don't have to sit under a cap I don't have to necessarily wait for a long period of time because you can wait it out five to ten minutes in the shower that's not a long you know time and for me to use a deep conditioner I have also always with my deep conditioners I try them um, as I would a regular or as most people would a regular washout conditioner so I would necessarily leave it in like the five to ten minute mark and wash it out and see what it would do because if you're really a deep conditioner I'm expecting you great if I leave it in for the hour but I'm expecting you to have the properties where already out the gate you're doing something different to my hair that's making me feel great right so traditional just regular conditioners never did that for me for the most part um, I have another one here that's uh, pretty good but not as good as this one <laughs> but this particular one is just a regular conditioner leave it in five to ten minutes which many off-the-shelf things can tell you just for a regular conditioner even if it's not deep will tell you like maybe leave it in three minutes leave it in five leave it in ten so this is not far off the mark saying leave it in five to ten and I feel like leaving it in the five to ten 
will get me close to this. If you leave it in longer than the 10 though, I feel like it even amplifies the benefits. It still doesn't quite reach the deep conditioner. So if you were struggling between the two, which to get, I would say go with the deep conditioner. But I feel like um, this is a really good alternative, this moisturizing conditioner, which I don't think I have yet shown you the consistency of it. So it's creamy, it's thick. Boom, there we go, slide it down my hot hand. Almost the way it's going into my skin, kind of, sort of, is the way it goes in my hair. My hair soaks it in, I'm able to rake it through, and I really like it. So just as something that is a traditional conditioner, this is a really nice one. Not as great as, as Big Mama, the deep conditioner, but it's really good and it would be worth your money, especially if you don't have a problem leaving it in five to 10 minutes. And if you leave it in longer, this is kind of one of the rare occasions when a company says, you know, leave it in this time, but if you leave it in longer, you may get even better benefits. <laughs> that doesn't always happen for me, but in this case it does. So I actually like this Unicurl Moisture Fantasy Moisturizing Conditioner. We did not look at ingredients, did we? I've just been yapping. So let's, let's get to the ingredients on that. Another kind of reflective label, but because it's on the white section down here, maybe you will. Okay, there we go. Water, Benhentrum Trimonium, Methyl Sulfate, Aloe Vera, Mabasu Oil on that first line. I like it. That's ingredient number, I think, four. Almond Oil. Yeah, peppermint oil, which you definitely, even though that was toward the bottom, you can definitely smell the peppermint minty kind of scent in here. And it had fragrance as the very last ingredient. I know some people don't like fragrance in it, but um, it smells like peppermint. So I guess they amplified it with like maybe a more uh, pepperminty scent in it. But from Unicurl, the deep conditioner is definitely a get this. The moisturizing, more moisture fantasy uh, conditioner is also a get this. So you can get either of those and I think you would be happy. The don't get that from Unicurl for me would be this. She also released this last year. It's her styling gel, Curl Fantasy Styling Gel. For me, it was just simply too light. It doesn't leave a crunch, which is great. I like that. Um, it leaves my hair, you know, feeling soft. It wasn't some mega rock hard thing. So all of that was fine. But the fact is it's too light and I found myself having to use, even on a small like bang section, too much of it. It's an eight ounce jar and I forgot whatever the price point was but of course it'll be written down below um, and it didn't do residue or anything like that. It seemed to mix well with a few other products. I didn't try it extensively with too too many other things but um, for the few things that I did try it with like the gelato it, it was fine but this particular one is just in I use you can see the hole there where I dug it. Was it the gelato one I used it with? Don't quote me on that, but I think it was. Uh, but anyway, this particular one is just too light. So my hair, as I mentioned, loves to just fly away from my head and just kind of, this doesn't have the weight to kind of hold it down. It also doesn't have the weight to give me even the appearance of some definition. It just, everything will just kind of go in its own direction and, and do what it wants. It's, it's just simply too light for me. But if you have a different hair texture, from than I do then maybe this will do something for you but for me this is a definite don't get this and the scent is like a a barely there kind of sweet light scent very light so if you're troubled by scents I don't think you would be worried about this one because you can barely smell it PVP is ingredient number two right after water so binding element right here boom here's the full ingredient list sorry I got um, <laughs> thing on it glycerin over here boom here we go okay so that's it but yeah this is a don't get this from unicurl for me only because it's light for my hair the big don't get this from unicurl which i think this was also released last year yes correct me if i'm wrong but the aloe and hemp curl forming custard Okay, so this particular custard, it mentioned, was this the one that says it's like perfect for wash and goes? I feel like this was the one. Yeah, it's right on the front label. Perfect for wash and goes. No. <laughs> and here's, here's why not. Um, for me. Well, let me show you the, I'll show you the ingredients too, but it's a very jiggly product, which that's not why it's not perfect for wash and goes, but can you hear it shaking around in there? It's, it's the kind of product you have to, look, I'm trying to break it apart right now. And it plops down. Oh, if you couldn't hear it. It's like a jiggly fat jello. Let me try it. Let me, yes. 
notice how I the jar is now empty I took it out of the jar it's all in formation still shaking like a little jello um, it feels waxy in nature I'm not a fan of, of the feeling even just rubbing my fingers together once I get this off my fingers and back in the jar it, it's all shaking around still jiggly uh, the texture is cute but the feeling of the product is not because it feels uh, well me just showing you me rubbing my hands can't really say much to that but it feels waxy and I, I don't like that waxy feeling which honestly I would be fine with that if the waxy feeling didn't go along with what it actually does which is if it is not rubbed into my low porosity hair really well I'm going to show you a picture right here that is where I will have like the little appearance of residue it's like it doesn't fully break down almost like the waxy piece of this particular uh, what they call custard is just sitting there just sitting on top now the appearance of my hair in terms of the twist once I took the twist out and everything the twists look fine um they look fine in terms of moisture from this uh, curling custard it's not going to be the type of product where I put it on in the evening and the next day I unravel my twist and I'm going to have moisture. Well, I can have moisture to a degree, moderately. Like I can have on a scale of 1 to 10, my hair can be moisturized to a level like 6.5 all day. Okay, fine. It's better than something I can pick up at the store that's going to be filled with alcohol and like dry out my hair and have it feeling horrible the next day. It's not going to do that, but it's not going to like up my moisture game and it's certainly not something that can carry me through the week. So for my hair type, this was a no-go in terms of moisture. This was a no-go in terms of like if it's not absolutely rubbed in as best you can. And even when I tried to, like there was no, tried like using less product, tried making sure it was layered with water underneath it, tried so many things. It just, um... It doesn't always absorb well into my hair and it just is what it is. So this was not a winner for me. This is a, a definite don't get this. I would never repurchase this curl forming custard. And if I were to use it not with twists but just kind of free form raking it through my hair. It's not like it did anything to encourage the appearance or the definition of some type of curl pattern. Like it, it didn't. So this would not be perfect for washing goals for my hair type. I could definitely see maybe a person who doesn't have low porosity hair or a person who has a much looser curl texture maybe it could just the way you saw me plop it entirely out of this jar maybe it could just help them if they already have like the appearance of curls naturally in their hair without having to do much manipulation then maybe this could help it just kind of stay in place and it doesn't like dry hard or anything like that so when I say stay in place it's just the waxy nature of it that I was referring to in terms of like keeping it together so maybe it could work for a person whose hair is like that but for mine it was a no-go and let me just show you the ingredient list because I don't believe we looked at that but I can tell you with the ingredient list yes nice things in here look Hemp oil over here, not too far down. We're starting off with um, aloe vera leaf juice. Very nice. We have olive oil in here. We have, I, I thought this one also had um, horse tail. Yeah, horse tail. Yep, extract up here. Yeah, so again, not a bad ingredient list at all. I I'm fine with the ingredient list, but just everything coming together did not sit well with my hair so that would be a don't get that from unicurl both the gel and that custard which i just showed you if you are looking for something to kind of do twist in your hair or something along those lines there was another item that was released last year that if in comparison with the custard this would be more of a get this than that custard for sure not that you, that you necessarily have to run out and get this one either but it's certainly better and i'll tell you the areas in which it was better but mish release this product called bounce it says it's a curl defining cream and this is an eight ounce jar well eight and a half ounce jar and this one smells very much like the Miche leave-in conditioner uh, the one that comes in the pump where it has this kind of light almost vanilla like type of scent yes it smells like this as well it's really well whipped it's creamy i like the consistency of it much more than the custard that i just showed you from unicurl so this is just like a creamy little product goes into my hair leaves absolutely no residue I can twist up my hair and, and this I've actually done a head-to-head -head comparison between the unicorn one and the Mish one where some twists on one side of my head were with the Mish and the other one was with the unicorn custard and by far there was no residue at all with all the with the Mish twists um, whether I use a little or I use a lot in a particular section this one also left my hair feeling more moisturized than the curling custard one and I can say on a scale of 1 to 10, 
it left my again I'm not going through the whole week with just applying this one time on my twist and I'm feeling moisturized the whole week it's not that level of product for me I would definitely need to use a refresher or something but at least for let's say you know waking up the next day and unraveling my twist or wearing my twist in twist for the whole day the next day my hair level moisture for the entire day would probably be at a seven and a half so it, it definitely wasn't bad it didn't feel like oh crunchy I need to spray something on it right now it was a seven and a half it was better than average it was a, a decent product and again the the scent is nice but much like the other thing it's not like it's you're smelling it so so heavily um you know throughout the day maybe again if your hair is just kind of always swinging in your face maybe then you will but if you do it's a pleasant scent i like it we'll talk ingredients too i'm going to show you the ingredient list of this mish product so certainly from mish their traditional pump which i told you i spoke about that leave-in i'm pretty sure last year would be a get this this could be a get this if you're looking for something along those lines like something that you could use for a twist out much like the uh, curl forming one though, if I'm just using this, because it actually says on it, curl defining cream. If I'm just using this through my hair type and raking it through even the front section, which is a little more agreeable to trying to form some type of a curl, even if I were to rake it through that section of my hair, Mm -mm. I would have to use this and then maybe the Denman brush that I spoke about earlier to try to cur encourage the appearance of curls but it's not uh as it says a curl defining cream I didn't find like it helped to define my curls it just almost looks still like afro like and so um yeah no in that way it, it wasn't but that's why I ended up using it for like a twist out and and that was fine that was fine um so let's show ingredients because I still haven't done that <laughs> and of course all, all these things that we've discussed so far are paraben free sulfate free all that stuff right so check this out distilled water infused with marshmallow root I also enjoy slippery elm which is here has flaxseed gel in here as well shea butter is in here too beet sugar so again, some really nice um, items, some ingredients here from Mish. If you were looking to support Mish, this may be one thing that you want to do. But my all-time thing, because Mish wasn't a brand that worked so well for me that I want to scream it from the rooftops, except for their traditional pump uh, It has a pump, leave-in conditioner. That I spoke about last year. Really like that leave-in. It's really nice for my hair. Um, Low-key, it was close to coming to be like a, a moisturizer if it had a bit more to it, but it was really nice as a leave-in. I appreciate it. I enjoy it. That would be a get this for me from Mish. But if there's something new from Mish that you wanted to try, I don't think you would be upset or disappointed if you use this one I think you could find a way to make this one work or maybe if your hair is not as dry as mine maybe you could make it to you know at least half the week or maybe even the full week with just this product in your hair and you're twisting everything feeling moisturized and maybe if your hair is not as tightly coiled as mine that maybe it could work as a curl defining cream for you so that one depending on your hair it could be an absolute yeah I want to try that I want to get this because it certainly wasn't a bad product but it just wasn't at the top of my list but it was fine it was fine the other thing that I got from Mish also released at the same time and I feel like I got it in January of 2020 because it was a pre-order or something like that or did I get it in December but at some time I think she released the product or the information about it on Black Friday but then you have to do a pre-order something like that but anyhow um, and I typically don't do pre-orders but then I was like mm, let me try it <laughs> so here we go so Mish she released this boost hydrating leave-in and curl refresher spray so I tried to use it in both ways as both a traditional just a regular leave-in and as a curl refreshing spray so for the leave-in of course it would go on before the part you finish washing your hair shampoo conditioner then you use your leave-in I thought it was fine um, it's not something that would and as you can see my nozzle is broken off now so let me just show you the consistency of it too it's kind of a creamy product but loose enough to get through the sprayer I didn't have difficulty spraying it out there it is and the scent was yeah quite similar same kind of thing I described with that uh, curl defining cream it's like a kind of light vanilla -y scent so this particular one using it as a leave-in not as good as the original leave-in that I just mentioned to you from Mish. I would definitely go with that leave-in that pumps out in a, in a little bottle before I go with this spray leave-in. I felt like this was a lighter, almost watered down, not almost, it was a watered down version. It's certainly not as good as the one that I really, really enjoy from Mish. If I were to get anything from Mish, it would be that leave-in, the original leave-in uh, conditioner, not this one. This one just didn't have... 
as much moisture for my hair the regular leave-in does so for it to be called a hydrating leave-in it certainly didn't leave my hair dry it just wasn't as good as the other Mish one and that's the standard I was kind of holding it to and as a curl refresher spray now let's say you had something in your hair that really left your hair moisturized and now midweek you need to kind of put something on to reactivate it this was nice as a curl refresher so just putting something on to add moisture because again on its own this can give you moisture it's just if you're a super dry head like me then you would probably need even more than this can deliver but this was nice I, again i'm not looking to repurchase this but i think there are people that have hair that's not as dry as mine that could certainly get by with this it was a fine product. It just wasn't um, the most amazing one for me. Again, their traditional leave-in is the one I would side with. Heads, hand over, I don't even remember what the saying is, but I would go with that one for sure before I go with this one again. And let me show you the ingredient list here with this hydrating leave-in. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we can see all of that. Da -da -da. Beet sugar in here again as well. It has glycerin, but it's kind of down there on the list and it finally ends with pro vitamin b5 it also has silk protein in here yeah it was a it's, it's fine it just wasn't anything that i'm writing home about for this particular product smells good um definitely regular leaving go with that one over using this as a leave-in but you can use this as a curl refresher so if you happen to get this or someone gets this for you i don't think you would have a problem finishing the bottle i just didn't finish it as yet because my nozzle broke off and i went to switch it out with another sprayer from someplace else but anyway um yeah i'm not looking to purchase this again but it wasn't a horrible product but that could be a don't get that for me let's talk this next brand which I only purchased this summer and I only got two things from them but they have a wide range of offerings so another company that you may be looking to support nature's little secret this is their Irish moss styling cream I actually picked up two styling creams from them this is one the Irish moss styling cream we're gonna look at the ingredient list because I remember Irish moss okay so they're describing here that Irish moss is a type of red seaweed and they're saying what it's used for is used in foods as thickeners and other things but they're saying it can be used to uh, strengthen hair and things like that on the ingredient at least I remember Irish moss being yep right up there toward the top we're gonna look at this right here water and then look Irish moss right there so you can rightly call it an Irish moss styling cream because it's so close to the top of you know almost it's the second ingredient so it's almost you know right there so that's great and it says made with Irish moss they're certainly not lying right there on the top of the ingredient list um, the scent of it is pleasant. It's a light kind of sweet scent. I'm not sure sweet like what. I'm not not like a cake, but just like a yeah, light kind of sweet scent. It's definitely a thick cream. I can hold it upside down. This is not going anywhere. I can pat it. <laughs> you can see it has the indentation there of my finger, but it's a, a cream, a styling cream. I'm gonna tell you right now, um, this was different for me in that. Usually I can find ways to use products and think of different things I can mix it with and all that. This was a struggle for me because it left my hair so dry. Not just like, dryness is what my hair does. So I don't need any product that will exacerbate that particular issue that I already have. And this one did that. It left my hair, it's like it was actively working to pull moisture from my hair. It's like it said, oh your hair is dry let me one up you and it made it even drier my twists felt like because it's a styling cream so i used it to do like a twist out and i tried this using water on my hair using it on damp hair using a spritzer i've used it on completely dry hair and in either case it was the same my hair was just extremely dry from this i couldn't even i used i feel like saying half the bottle because again i was trying to half the jar i was trying to use it in different ways and this is a 12 ounce jar <laughs> so i was trying to use it in different ways and saying oh maybe this maybe that but no, my hair just did not like this product at all. This is a definite, definite will not. Did I just put lotion on my nose probably? But anyway, this is a definite will not repurchase for me because it absolutely left my hair feeling really dry, really, really dry. And adding more product on top of it thinking like, okay, maybe it was stage one. Maybe it was dry. Let me add some more and see how it goes. No, adding more did not then kind of suddenly bring moisture to my hair no it felt even drier it was like oh you, you want to be even drier i got you and so that's what this did i will not be purchasing this uh irish moss 
styling cream ever again from Nature's Little Secret. Now the next thing up from Nature's Little Secret. So the next thing from Nature's Little Secret that I picked up and this was kind of challenging to get because people were raving about this particular one and the first time I tried to get it, it was all sold out and I eventually did get it when she did like a restock but it is the strawberry styling smoothie infused with strawberries and this one definitely has like a light scent of strawberry so it smells nice. Also, I can hold this one upside down. It's not going to all plop out, but it's creamier and not as thick feeling as that Irish moss one. So there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Just like a cream. Now with this one, it wasn't as bad as the Irish moss experience, but um, it did. W okay, here's the positive. It did well by way of having my twists kind of stay in formation as did the Irish Moss one. It's not like my twists were all unraveling and going crazy. So they both did that in terms of styling, I guess. But now I'm more concerned with how it actually feels. And I'm, of course, going to show you the ingredient list here. But um, no, <laughs> this was another one that left my hair feeling dry. It just wasn't as dry as the um, Irish Moss one. So this for me is I can make this short and sweet this is a don't get this so I don't have anything to necessarily promote from nature's little secret here's the ingredient list here I don't have anything to promote because these are the only two items but again a nice ingredient list but this is these are the only two items that I purchased and neither of them actually worked for me I would not repurchase either of these um but many people seem to love this strawberry one so okay there you have it um yeah, I, the thing I was going to mention before is, <clears throat> excuse me, the Irish Moss one was just a struggle because usually I can figure out some way to kind of use that product and use it up, but I'm, I'm struggling. This one, I may be able to have an idea of what thing I could mix it with that it could potentially, I, I don't want to though. <laughs> These just so didn't work for me, so... Yeah, I don't have anything to necessarily recommend from this brand, but they have many, many offerings and there are, I'm sure, other reviews online where you can find something that may work for you. Maybe a shampoo or conditioner, but that was nature's little secret. I'm going to hop right into, because I don't, I don't want to keep you forever. So yeah, let me do, let me do, do, oh, I can do this quickly because I hated this. Okay, so Miss Jessie's softened me up. This was a conditioner. And it says uh, right there, boom, okay? Nope, let me just show you the ingredient. Now, generally, I, even though I already mentioned the thing about conditioners and, you know, conditioners, I usually use deep conditioners as how people would use traditional, just regular level one washout conditioners. Yes, fine. But, you know, there are some that, you know, can work for me. So I'm always open to try and just see what's up. And in general, Miss Jessie's is, is not a bad brand for my hair. So it's, it's okay. I can find something that, you know, may work. Some things better than others. But this particular one was really bad. It's, um, let me try and get some out for you. It's creamy. I can stay in frame, right? So it's creamy, but even though it's creamy, it really didn't have... It, my hair needed more slip than what this could provide. So I, I didn't like it. It didn't get through my hair well, and it didn't make my hair feel like it was moisturized. And in fact, I hate when products... This is not to be outdone by the other one that I'm going to show you in a second, but this one is a product that... How can you be on my hair and my hair still feel dry when you're on it? There was one, again, that is going to exceed it. But this, yeah, softened me up. It didn't soften me up. And where's the ingredient list? I can show you on this packaging. Okay, there we go. It's this kind of middle section. If you'll even be, oh, yeah, you can see it. Okay, that came in. Boom, there we go. Nope, not for me. This is a Miss Jessie's one that I would definitely skip. But, you know, there are some other things from Miss Jessie's that you may want to check out. But for me, this softened me up one. And I feel like this was kind of a new one released in 2020 or was it in 2019? I, I don't know. They did some new, um, she released something new, but I don't exact, I thought this was it. I'm not sure. And But anyway, this was my first time trying this one when I actually bought it. And no, I'm going to have to use that as a pre-poo and mix it with, you know, some other things. I do have that little 
anyway I'll mix it with some other things and as a pre poo again because it's not gonna be the final step on my hair before I go on to like a moisturizer or a leave-in or whatever I do so as a pre poo I can get rid of things like that that can be washed out especially if I can add other things to them to give me more of the slip or mix it with another conditioner that I have a little bit left so that that can be worked but I, I didn't like it because it, it didn't soften my hair to the degree that I needed to soften it so a, that would be a don't get that but if you want just a traditional regular conditioner not a deep conditioner but you're looking for a regular conditioner that can do more for your hair I really did enjoy it has certainly more slip it can get through my hair I can rake it through it's from as I am it's also from the Jamaican black castor oil line and this is just their conditioner and again it's going to be hard to see the, the labeling on this one I can barely see it here I don't know why they thought this was You'll have to check the ingredients online. I can barely see what's on top of the red with this super light. And it's not faded. It came like this. Super light um, gold on top of the thing. So it's just hard to actually see. But yeah, so I'm, I'm going to trust the as I am ingredients. Right? I definitely know it's paraben free and all that stuff. That I know. The scent is similar to the rest of the Jamaican Black Castor Oil line. So... I'm not going to say it's as strong as like just straight Jamaican black castor oil. It's certainly they try to make it a more pleasing scent. So that's fine. But anyway, I can get through my hair with it. It's a creamy conditioner. Maybe I can show you some. And it has certainly more slip than the one that I just showed you from Miss Jessie's. And now it's going to take forever <laughs> to get out. But this is a nice one that's just a traditional conditioner. It's not a deep conditioner or anything. This is something that I can use, you know, midweek or if you're coming from the gym or something like that. Well, I'm not coming from the gym <laughs> anytime now, but you know what I mean. If you just want to do like a midweek run and you don't want to do a deep conditioner, but you want to do something kind of not a cold wash, but maybe you want to do a full shampoo and condition. This is a really nice conditioner and even even just my fingers here just gliding now. I can feel that it has like slip in, in that product. It feels good. I like it. So, and this leaves my hair soft. So I do like that conditioner and that would be a get this. I'm going to tell you from the As I Am Jamaican Black Castor All Line, they can't all be winners, right? So the one that I would say, and I know some people love this one too. I did not like this spray, which is supposed to be like, um, uh, what does it say? Oh, it just says Jamaican Black Castor Oil water and it's supposed to be like an elevated form of water because it has like I can read the ingredients on here anyway but I remember it having let me just see if I'm wrong with it man I can barely I don't know the sprayer was good <laughs> I remember let me find it boom look at look at that so it sprays out really well but to me it felt like I could spray water on my hair and I know this is called Jamaican black casserole water but I could spray water on my hair why would I need water is free I put it in my little sprayer and I, I spray it out why do I need to buy this no thanks I can go right to the faucet and turn it on so I felt like there was nothing elevated to me about this product over water so whatever water can do for your hair this can do for your hair if you want to spray it to wet it before you go on to the next step you can do that um this i would never repurchase um no and there was but yes it has the jamaican black castor oil in it and i feel like it yeah okay right 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 so it does have seed oils in here as i i thought and it has glycerin in here too but i i was really hoping sometimes when glycerin is in stuff it it works well for my hair it's in like that Camille Rose Presser that I spoke about and really enjoy this is by no means even in the same ballpark this this is water so it's fine so whatever water can do if you want to buy something that's quite similar to water then you can get get that but <laughs> I wasn't impressed by that so I, that would be a don't get that for me but I do enjoy the as I am and I'm again I'm not an as I am fan but from as I am they're Jamaican black castor oil co-wash was another one that had nice slip I was able to get through my hair another one where I won't be able to read the ingredients from the packaging but um I don't want to slide it over it will definitely come out but maybe I can show you like this creamy okay mm -hmm. I'll try and put some on the back of my hand just so you can oh even from the lid let me just show you like mm, I don't know what that was supposed to show you but uh yeah nice slip 
creamy gets through my hair and my hair is left feeling soft so it's a thing that when it goes on my hair it leaves it better than it felt before it was applied to my hair so I can appreciate it I like that co-wash and the same scent runs again throughout the entire line okay so next thing let me just deal with this particular brand because the other two I feel like I can run through these kind of things quickly this summer I made more than one purchase but I did support and I wanted to check out Product Junkie Naturals. So I got some things from them. Some I had purchased and I gave um, to my sister so she used those. They didn't necessarily work for me. I don't remember exactly what they were. But here are some of the things that remained. Uh, the Product Junkie Naturals Blueberry and Agave Flaxseed Gel Buttercream. The thing that I remember off the bat with this and I, first of all it is 8 ounces. And it has this kind of um, manufactured blueberry scent is kind of what it smells like. But not, not a bad thing. I'm just saying it's not like... Because you know how if you smell a blueberry, do they do you necessarily smell a particular scent? Like if I smell a strawberry, I know like, oh, that's a strawberry. But a blueberry, I don't... Anywho, <laughs> the, this smells like whatever things are scented like blueberry smells like it smells like that right so so that that's what I meant by that comment okay so here's the product this is a, a thick boom buttercream I can hold it upside down I remember as if I used this yesterday the thing with this product is yes my hair feels um, moisturized when I put this in it feels good but what happens through the course of time is it's a, and this isn't the product I was referencing before I'll get to that other one this particular product does almost a separation where it feels like it moisturizes my hair initially and it's feeling good and it does a similar thing with so I can kind of show you both of these at the same time I also got the sea moss and canagan flaxseed gel buttercream also from product junkie naturals from the sea moss collection I'm assuming the K is silent there Peng Nan. We're going to go with that. Okay. Uh, Flexi Gel Buttercream because they both did a similar thing but more so with, so let me stick with this one, more so with the um, Blueberry and Agave. So my hair felt moisturized initially and I was like, ooh, this is a nice thick, let me put some of that here, nice thick uh, kind of buttercream and I said, okay, this is going to be a nice flaxy gel buttercream for, for my hair. But what happens as the days go by is it feels more like the oils in it and let me show you the ingredient list too as I'm talking and it has um yeah castor oil is in here olive oil is in here blueberry seed oil it uses Optifin yay um so here's the ingredient list and certainly not a bad ingredient list or anything like that it's just for my hair I felt like as the days progressed the separation happened where it felt like the moisture that I had was leaving, which is typical for my hair, right? So the, the moisture will escape because I told you my hair loves to be dry, right? So the moisture will escape, but what remained was like a greasy feeling, like the, the oils were left behind. So even though my hair was feeling dry, it was dry, but not on the first day, but as the days went by in the week, then it would feel dry, but then the oil was still like on top. So it was just a weird combination of knowing that my hair still needed something else because I never want my hair to feel, you know, dry, but then it still had this oil on it. So it was one of those things where I needed to do kind of a reset and, and wash it again. So this was not my favorite. This wouldn't be a get this for me, um, but maybe go ahead and try it again because the ingredients are nice and this may be a new brand to try. One thing I can tell you about shipping is that the shipping uh, took almost to the day a, a month to come to me and that was during the summer and it was during a sale time too. I've never shot with them during Black Friday so I'm not sure what's going to happen there but you know it's it's I like the ingredients that they use and you know nice to support different brands. I had a similar experience with this one but it, it was less oily and less moisture so the reason I put this one up first and I said well let me talk about these separately is because this one at least gave me more moisture up front this one did not right the sea moss one didn't give me as much as the blueberry one gave me and maybe it's the agave in there or something but this one at least in the initial stages of using it felt like oh okay I see the moisture I like this um, this one didn't leave me feeling as moisturized even in the initial stage it wasn't horrible but it just wasn't um, anything that I would repurchase and I'm gonna show you what this looks like as well as the ingredient list and the scent of this one I'm not sure maybe something of the sea <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what that smells like but this is it 
another thick kind of buttercream type of uh, consistency. Here it is. Boom. Creamy product. It's one thing I can say. Her products are really well whipped. No lumps and bumps in it. She emulsifies things way down. So that's awesome. I like when things are really well whipped. Flaxseed gel is the number one ingredient here. And then it has cocoa. Oh, oops. Then we had cocoa butter. Next up. And that Pangnan butter is number two. Then castor oil. So again, another really good ingredient list. It's just that not everything that has a good ingredient list will work for me. But um, I do like the brand and I'm going to show you. So these two would be a don't get this for me. But from Product Junkie Naturals, um, well, three things that could be a, a get this. I'm going to start with this one first. This and, and the other thing that I have to mention is, and again, I've never shot with them during Black Friday, but what happened during the summer there were things that i had my eye on and i was like okay when she reopens the store i'm gonna get this sold out so I, there were things still on my list that i want to try from product junkie naturals and i have not to date been able to get it because they stay sold out so people are quick to get these um items so i don't know what her black friday sale is going to be like but i'm gonna say be there early and be ready because things will sell out but there are some things that i definitely still have my eye on and want to check but one thing that i would like to repurchase from her is the max hydration leave-in conditioner now i was a person always in my life saying like bypass the leave-in conditioner go straight to the moisturizer because leave-in conditioners in general do absolutely nothing for me i don't like them but there are few this is probably the shortest part of my best of list when I look at the leave-in conditioners because there are a few that actually do something. I didn't put this on my best of list. I need, I want to go through another bottle. I want to use it in different ways. I want to try some other things. But my initial impression of this is that this Max Hydration Leave-In Conditioner is a very nice leave-in because again, I like leave-in conditioners that almost feel like they could be moisturizers just in and of itself. So this was definitely not a bad product. In fact, it was a good product. This is something I'm going to, if I get anything from Product Junkie Naturals, if anything is left on the shelves, this Black Friday, this would be one of the items that I would like to get. Um, I, th I believe this was the one that she also offers. You could buy a sprayer for it. I did not. I was get the sprayer <laughs> but anyway it's a creamy product I have very little of this left I really actually only let me try and get some out okay good only saved some here so I would be able to show you otherwise I would have completely finished this creamy creamy product it has slipped from my hair it allows me to detangle and it leaves me feeling moisturized so it does what a one that's promising to be a max hydration leave-in it's doing what it should do and for it to be able to allow me to detangle in my hair I'm all about it. Let me show you the ingredient list here. Boom. Aloe leaf juice. Boom. Are you going to focus? Okay, good. Now, surprisingly, because when rice and, and rice extracts and all of that, when it's usually so far up on the ingredient list, sometimes it makes my hair feel like it's lacking hydration. It's feeling like really tough and dry and, you know, protein thing is not working for me. But that is not the case here. And it has sativa oil in it. So, yeah, this is a nice part of vitamin E further down. Um, but this is a nice product for my hair. My hair likes it. Again, I didn't put it on the best of list yet, but I, I want to do some more things with it. But immediately as I use it, I was like, oh, this feels good. And the next day, because I intentionally used it, the very first time that I used it, I intentionally did so without following up with a moisturizer because I wanted to see how my twist felt the next day. They still felt good. And that didn't just happen one time. So why isn't this on the best of list? Because I want to try it with some other things, see how it mingles, see how it layers. But I do, I do like this product. So again, this could be a get this from Product Junkie Naturals. And it says coconut oil free for those who care about coconut oil not being in their products. Coconut oil free. The other thing that I got from Product Junkie Naturals, and this is from their passion fruit oil, like they have different lines and everything. So this is called the Snapback Curl Leave-In Conditioner. It's also coconut oil free. This one it came with a sprayer. Um, I remember it spraying well. Um, boom. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Actually, a smaller hit than what I thought was more centralized, more direct. But anyway, it sprays out just fine. It didn't do anything like 
crazy where I had to fight with the nozzle or anything so that was fine this one and shake a little because some of the ingredients may separate a bit so just shake before using this this was also good the only thing is I felt it didn't leave my hair as hydrated as that max um, hydration one it didn't do that it was definitely um, a few steps beneath that one but this was a really nice detangler and it detangled my hair or allowed me to detangle my hair really well and it says right on the side look who's for low porosity collection from the low porosity collection i just felt that it wasn't as good as the max hydration one but it was so good all right so this is another thing that you may want to put on your list and let me show you the ingredients right here come on okay maracuja oil all right so there we go btms okay right so this one so this one i don't i don't need to repurchase because i know that the max hydration is better for me and i have other things i could use as the detanglers that serve not only as detanglers but they serve double duty doing other things for my hair maybe a detangler and a moisturizer or you know things like that but that max hydration is superior when compared with that snapback so that's what but you could get either of those and i think you would be fine depending on what you plan on getting out of it but the max hydration is to get this the other thing and this isn't my this is just my last jar of it but this is not the only jar that i've gone through the product junking naturals also from this passion fruit um oils line it says maximum moisture deep conditioner and the scent on on both of those let me just say they're just kind of light scents almost i don't want to say almost forgettable but the one that i poured in my hand the max hydration I'm not exactly sure what that scent is but it wasn't anything bad at all so even if it lingers which it didn't really linger in my hair it was fine. This one smells almost perfumey in nature, like it has a little perfumey scent in it. This is the Maximum Moisture Deep Conditioner. And let me try and show you. It's definitely the one that if I turn it over, it is sliding all over. It's a very creamy product. There is a woman, and I'm sorry that I don't remember her name. She does YouTube videos, and she does it primarily in um, American Sign Language but she will sometimes have like captions at the bottom and she was reviewing and, and sometimes she will do uh, um, actual spoken videos as well um, but I, I just I thought that was really nice that she is in inclusive in, in her channel because sometimes you'll think of YouTube and you just think of you know the audio the video but that won't work for every population watching youtube so and you know maybe they don't always want to get the caption so she's doing actual sign language on camera which i thought was very cool but any, anywho she the way she describes her hair is kind of the way i always describe my hair as being like very dry and thirsty and all that stuff and she was raving about this one that she put it in her hair and how her hair was just kind of drinking it up i had a very similar experience with this uh, maximum moisture deep conditioner that my hair was like I was able to rake it through my hair um here's the thing the first time I used this I remember my hair feeling uber moisturized um when I was done and washed it out there I've as I already mentioned I had already used a full jar and this particular jar is I have about a quarter a little more than a quarter left of it um I didn't have the exact experience all every time, which is why I need to, and I just want to show you the consistency of it. If I didn't already do it, it feels like it has slip in here. It feels nice. As I mentioned, my hair, you can see the shine. Look at that gleaming, right? So this is what I need to do. And this could be another thing that I get Black Friday because I really want to see under what conditions am I getting the most out of this? Because I can definitely tell you that, as I mentioned, the first time I used this, it was like, whoa, what is this product? I need more of this. And this is another thing that sells out fast from her line. So um, I need to, and it says for low porosity, are we looking right here? Low porosity collection. So what made that first experience so amazing and then other times not that the other times were bad it's just it wasn't as soft maybe it was the shampoo so I, I just want to take note really carefully of what things I'm using in conjunction with this to figure out how I can just maximize and replicate kind of that first feeling that I had but in either case one thing that's consistent despite whatever I use prior to this is that my hair feels um, when I wash it out it does feel soft it's just the difference between it feeling soft and soft and silky right so it, it always feels soft um and it always feels like it's not dried out like there's moisture in it it always feels like that it's just the degree to which i feel that um it, it has been different 
So, and, and I'm sure the shampoo and whatever is preceding it could also contribute to that too. But this is certainly something that you may want to check out. And I believe this Black Friday, I'm going to try and get some more of this as well too, because I am really curious and I want to do more testing on that. I don't think I spoke about this in the other video, right? Um, so this is also from Product Junkie Naturals. This is their Hydro Quench Curl Cleanse. And it says it's for Thirsty Curls. It's their shampoo. I'm going to tell you this one right here. I have to smell it again because I don't remember what it smells like. Oh, okay. Mm. I don't want to say oatmeal because it's not exactly oatmeal, but... Think along those lines. Oatmeal with a little dash of perfume, but yeah, I don't know. Something something along those lines. I'll show you the ingredient list. Oh, as I did not for this uh, conditioner, right? So let's let's check that out. Sorry. I'm I'm trying to not keep you forever, so I'm trying to like move quickly and I don't wanna shortchange you on some things though. Marshmallow root, yep, my hair likes it. Calendula likes it. Slippery elm likes it. So, and those things are up at the top. So, you know, that could explain how I have this slip and I'm able to get through it quite well. I just saw, um, yeah, clay in here as well. Castor oil in here as well. So again, another good ingredient list. This particular one also, you know, with a good ingredient list, and this is again the shampoo, and it says it's for dry, thirsty curls, kinks, and coils. The only, and it says coconut oil free as well on this one. The only thing with this one is it feels so gentle. It feel not like I want something that's like stripping and really harsh, but it feels so gentle that it doesn't say it's for babies, right? But it just feels like something you could put on a baby's head. It's also like mushy and, and soft. Let me try and get it out of here it's kind of thick but okay at the same time it's a really soft oh it's jamming up here okay it's a really creamy type of shampoo I found myself using more than I probably would in a typical shampoo because especially if you're trying to get out gels and things that you've been using in the week it felt too gentle to combat those things and I can use an edge control within a week I can use gels I can have things just one thing compounded on top of the other as I'm moving through the week so you know when I am ready to bust out the shampoo because I may do a co-wash midweek or or not and then if I'm taking it to the end of the week and I've been having products or moisturizers or different things throughout my hair I need something that's going to be a little more forceful and getting that out so from product junkie naturals this would be a don't get this for me the hydro quench um it did leave my hair feeling like there was some moisture to it, but then it also left me feeling, and it got it clean. Okay, I'm not going to say it wasn't clean. It was clean in the end. I just felt like I had to use a lot to get to that point. Okay, so this is not a repurchase for me, but again, another nice ingredient list. Hello. Okay, marshmallow roots, water infused as the very first ingredient. It has dragon fruit extract, mango butter. So again, nice beetroot extract, slippery elm, but that's kind of further down. Use Optifun. Optifin as that paraben free preservative so it, it's fine I can finish it but I'm not repurchasing it so that was it with that let me get to this because someone did ask for this and I want to well you asked for a, a pomade right so let me just quickly run through this edge control piece and I'll make this short and sweet because I know some of you don't even care about edge controls or like them. But I had gotten applesauce from, I'm going to start here, applesauce from Eco Slay. This is one of their products that does not have to be refrigerated. <laughs> so here's the ingredient list. If you can make that out, boom, seaweed extract. Okay, great. Um, it says multi-day hold edge control. Uh, I'm not going to go with the multi-day, but I can understand. Yeah, no, I'm not going to go with the multi-day. But let me show you the texture of this particular one. It's really, and at first when I got it, I was like, oh, this is like jiggly, like jello. I was like, this is not going to be an edge control for me. What is this going to do? But as it dries down, especially if your hair is like taunt, or if, uh, if I'm holding it in a product, a style like this, let's say I put the edge control on and then I put it in this banana clip and it dries while it's kind of in this suspended state being held by the clip and it's kind of like in that pulled position. Yes, it can dry and it will have, I don't want to say a cast and make it sound like a, a negative thing, but yes, it can dry and be an actual edge control. So this Eco Slay actually does work as um, an edge control. 
and it was just saying apply on the back. I was just reading apply sparingly to baby hairs, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> you apply it as you see fit. But yes, this actually is an edge control. It's not my best of edge control, not the best one I've used in the world. Someone asked me how do I get like my hair like slipped back. That's going to be the next thing that I talk to you about. Well, third thing that I talk to you about in this little edge control section. So this is not the best of because it doesn't beat the thing that I would typically run to, especially if I know, look, I don't want to just fuss around I wanted to do what I wanted to do this wouldn't be the first thing that I turn to but if someone were to say hey I'm gonna gift you some eco slays uh, applesauce which does not smell like applesauce by the way um <laughs> I have to mention that it smells like um pewy I don't know I don't like the scent of this but if someone were to say hey we're gonna but it's not like the scent lingers so that's fine too if someone said, hey, we want to gift you some applesauce. Yeah, I could use applesauce. It's cool. It's not going to give me multiple days worth of like my hair, my edges staying like straight or, you know, laid down. It's not going to do that. But it can get me through the day, especially if my hair is suspended by like by way of some clip or something like that. Then, yes, it's going to stay in place. Whereas that's not the case for all edge controls because some will start to unravel, start to curl up. And it's not laying down the way I want it to. This can take me through the whole day. So it's a good one. Eco Slay. The next thing that I'm going to come to still in the realm of edge control, but this is in relation directly to something that someone had asked me, is going to be the Pineapple Edge Tamer from Pretty Fizzies. Now, the last word on here is pomade because someone asked me if I could recommend a pomade. I'm going to tell you this. The consistency, uh, because when I looked at it online, I think Missy had said or someone had mentioned... I don't want to quote the wrong person that it was supposed to be similar to or that the owner said that it was similar to like the Eagle Slay one and in the sense that they're both kind of really soft but the Eagle Slay one is soft but it actually sets this one never from Pretty Fizzies never sets if you're looking or even considering and it has a light pineapple scent, which is pretty much, it was more apparent when I first got it during the summer. It's definitely now going away and smelling more like very, very light pineapple and more and more like Vaseline. But anyway, if you um, were looking at this particular product, the Pineapple Edge Tamer Pomade, keep that pomade piece in mind. If you were looking to buy this as like an edge control, don't. I'm going to show you right now and I can show you on my edges too. This is hair grease or pomade so someone who asked me about a pomade okay <laughs> this um is, is the one that i could recommend to you or maybe say you want to get this not as an edge control i'm just putting it in this segment because she calls it a pineapple edge tamer but it's really not taming any edges it is a what the last word says it is a pomade this is kind of like a grease look at this like it gives shine it, fe it feels like a, a grease right so this particular one i ended up once i saw clearly that this never sets it never dries down let me put some on, on the edges so you can see what i'm even though my edges are already kind of like done here but it doesn't well my edges are already laid so that doesn't that's not going to help you but if anything it may lift up what i already have here because it's almost like putting oil or grease <laughs> on top of it but if my hair had not been in this um banana clip right now it couldn't even and if I didn't already have an edge control or something that I'm using to lay down my edges on, it wouldn't even be able to get it to, it's like putting pudding on my hair. No, even pudding may be able to keep my edges down and hold it down longer than this. But let's say you did a, a layer, a thin layer of pudding, like you swiped your finger and put pudding on your hair, just as your hair or my hair would curl back up. Same thing here. This has zero effect in taming edges. But I decided with the consistency of it, I said, Hmm, maybe you can even see. Look how it's shining up my hand like Vaseline, right? So I said, maybe this can go because it leaves no crunch, no, nothing. It doesn't set, it does nothing, right? So I said, maybe let, I literally twisted up my hair with it and that was fine. It was like a pomade that can go down the length of your hair and it was um, the only thing why I wouldn't say like, oh, get more of this. Well, this particular one is in how many ounces? I don't see it necessarily on here, but I think this is like a two ounce jar, but she released this in a 19 ounce. Yes, a 19 ounce. I think she said she's going to have for Black Friday or maybe it's out right now. So if you're looking for a pomade, yes, th this leaves my hair. Think along the lines of Vaseline, but not as 
not as don't think of the mineral oil and stuff like that in it but think of the kind of feeling the way Vaseline can kind of coat but this is a lighter version of it the way it can kind of coat it, it left my twist with a measure of shine which is not something that's easy for my hair to do um, but they did feel you know and also I'm heavy handed too they did feel kind of like greasy the next day but this this is like a this is a pomade so if somebody was uh, someone did ask about a pomade this is a pomade that I could recommend certainly not as an edge control or edge tamer but definitely as a traditional pit pomade go for it uh, and now that she's releasing it in 19 ounces if you maybe start with a small one and see if you like it first <laughs> um, but yeah you can use this as a traditional pomade it didn't leave my hair feeling crunchy or dry it just felt if anything a little greasy but greasy but still like it had moisture so I, I, I wasn't mad at this using it as a pomade and using it down the whole length of my hair to twist up I even put it on on my scalp too it's like we're gonna grease this scalp old school style so I did that too so for all of those things it was fine it's just not an edge tamer now for the person who asked me about how can I get like my hair slick like this I said this when I first reviewed this product do not use it down the length of your hair as like you would a traditional gel but if you're using it as an edge control there we go from Alakay Naturals this is the lemongrass hold it styling gel again do not run it down the length of your hair unless you want little bricks as curls this is all I have left I've gone through jars of this as you can see look it's all moving together now I can tell you this is my last jar of it it has look I'm holding it up like this it has definitely changed the consistency if you look at the first time I ever purchased this it was a whole video when I was reviewing the lemongrass collection from Alakay if um and it was also combined with the melanin uh product her first launch all in that same video so it should be easy to find it's not far back from this video where we are now if you look at the consistency of what i showed on camera with, with that first jar and of course this is a totally new purchase this is jars and jars in you would see that the consistency is different from what i've just shown you here that was more where i was even saying in the video that it looked more like it was a jar of vaseline but the way it sets and holds down feels nothing like vaseline and it's, it doesn't have mineral oil or anything in there like it, it was just the appearance of how it looked but as you can see this one which is my last jar looks nothing like that but even though the consistency has changed it still works the same that's what i have in my hair right now one day i had this down if you kind of brush it down with like a bore bristle brush or even your hands just to smooth it down there was a person who one time asked me he said um you permed again and I said oh no <laughs> it was just this <laughs> um not that that's necessarily an appealing comment but I'm just saying that in the sense of that's how much the edges were were laid from this and it's so soft just as you were even seeing me hold it right now it's like jiggly and and soft it's not something that is going to be an edge control that's going to break out your your edges not like that so I, I like it though although when it sets yes if I wanted to go into a different style like this let's say I didn't want to wear my hair like this tomorrow it can easily be broken down more so that I even just used as I'm feeling over here it's already feeling because the oil in it and I know I didn't show you any ingredients from here but I'm sure it's going to say something like aloe vera yeah aloe vera juice almond oil pineapple glaze gel infused with our pineapple glaze gel I reviewed the pineapple glaze gel I think in part one of this so that's kind of all it's saying is in here um, but anyway, um, yeah, the oils gotta be the oils in here because I can feel like it's already trying to not over there, over here, trying to soften up. Yeah. See, it wasn't able to be moved as easily before, but that oil in the pretty fizzies is one that kind of is breaking it down. So yes, if I knew that tomorrow I wanted to go with a different style and I didn't want it to be kind of fixed in place by this slight oil crunch gone it's good but yes this can absolutely take me through the whole day I really really like it even if I didn't have anything to hold it in place like this and I use my hand to smooth it down yes it would stay laid so this is a good one the, I'm gonna so those are the edge controls that you can get the applesauce is fine if you get it and you want to support eco slay definitely the alloca one is I'm re-upping I'm doing that on my list for this black friday for sure that's a get that without a doubt only get pretty fizzies if you want to use it as a pomade certainly not as an edge control that's a no-no as an edge control the other things now there are some edge controls oh I can even show you this one because there is an edge control from the lemongrass alloca line right here this is the same jar I had that I showed you from that first time um yes this can hold down your edges the only thing about this one is it can feel a bit tough and give you a bit more resistance um and, and putting it on your edges and if you're not careful 
and if it, you use a firm hand to get it on it could potentially snag the more delicate hairs around your hairline which you don't want in which case if you are looking for an edge control that's really really soft you're not looking for all day hold but you either want to use an edge control that's soft and can be used as what I refer to as like a starter edge control like before I put one of something like this on I can go with something that I know is smoother, softer. It's not going to stay on for all day, but it's going to be something that I can use to aid as I apply this one. So if you're looking for a starter like that, one is Myel. Uh, so that edge control, which I barely have anything in here. So this could be, yeah, I don't even have. Yeah, that's actually fully. Oh, no, a little bit in the corners. Yeah, I like to use every drip drop. So, but that's really soft. And for the beginning moment, it may make you feel like it's going to keep your edges down. It won't. Don't trust it. It's not going to do that. It's definitely not going to keep you laid. But it can be a smooth starter. And then you lay or apply something that's a stronger edge control on top. But because it will be able to slide more easily, it's not going to snag any hair or anything like that. Another starter is definitely pattern because this pattern edge control cannot and this is another one that got all smudged so I can't show you the ingredients but no power bands none of that definitely can't lay your edges down when I saw this come out and some people were reviewing it and they were like oh it's gonna keep my edges like snatched I was like hmm really because as soon as I got it and felt it it was like and also smells like patchouli got it and felt it I was like this feels super soft and yes it lays you down for a good a good five seconds and then it, it's gone but yeah so you could use this too as like a starter edge control and then put something more powerful on top of it another one that I do like well one thing I can tell you that I do like about pattern is it doesn't leave residue even if you're using it daily and applying it it's really really soft goes away so if you're looking for that kind of edge control you don't really want to do a severe like it's late then yeah maybe the pattern one would work for you or the Myel one or kaleidoscope I did try this because it was in one of my um, curl boxes and uh, it says miracle edges and it's supposed to um, it says just what you need to bring those stubborn edges back uh, my edges aren't gone so I didn't notice anything about like bringing them back or making them fuller or anything like that that they're I guess kind of promising from this particular product but one thing I can tell you is it's smooth it's better than the Myel one in terms of being like a starter and the pattern one because it can hold you down for a little bit like if those hold you down for five seconds this can hold you for a good 10 nothing extreme <laughs> but the other thing about it is you much like the pattern one can use it daily if you want and it's not going to give you build up or residue or look cakey or anything it just kind of vanishes into thin air and the next day you start anew so this is the kaleidoscope one if you're looking for any gels that will do something like that for your hair um also another edge control that i'm not mad at is i wanted to try last year the watermelon seed edge pomade and they call this a pomade but i'm gonna say this is a different pomade don't think of the one that i just kind of described as using down the length of your hair from pretty fizzies this is like pretty fizzies is like a real pomade this one is really an edge control from baskin bloom so i want to try this one which does have like a light fruity i i like the I'm not going to say it smells like watermelon, but a light fruity scent. I like it very much. Even though they have the word pomade in this uh, jar or on the jar label, um, it's not a pomade like the other one. This is definitely an edge control. It's not going to keep you laid all day, but it's something, you know, let me try because I'm trying to do it in frame here. Like, look at that. See, like it, you know, it'll, it'll lay you for a little bit. And I know I'm putting stuff on top of stuff now, but it'll, it'll, it'll lay you for, you know, maybe get a few minutes out of it and especially if you're putting it up in formation like this but for my particular hair it's definitely not all going to stay all day some will start to curl back up and you know it just is what it is and and that's fine the allocated one would be my go-to especially if I know I wanted a style to stay sleek like all day it wouldn't be this one but I do like this from Baskin Bloom and you know it's it's also a nice start if you wanted something that would have a bit more holds but it's still soft enough that you can smooth it down you know you're not going to break out your edges and you want to put something stronger on top this could also work as a starter gel but it also has its own kind of grip to it as well so that is not bad i am not doing a part four to this video so let me try and power through um oh i did get this last year from uh, Sally's during when they had their sale it's from Curly Bell it's a jelly coconut styling gel um, I thought this played well with other gels I didn't use tons of it but let me tell you what I noticed when I first 
got it and I just did like this between my hands I said between my fingers I said oh feels like oil I looked at the ingredient list and boom 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 coconut oil is like the mm, third ingredient here <gasps> Ooh, if it could focus and I was like yeah uh-huh that oil is apparent <laughs> in this particular product so there we go it also has glycerin in it boom it was fine it mixed well with I, the gelato I tried it with that I tried it with a couple of other gels and it was not a problem it feels really soft doesn't dry with a crunch so I like that but it just wasn't one that I turned to because um, there were just other gels that were just all in my arsenal and I was like finding myself turning to those more this is also an eight ounce jar but it was cool I paid very little from Sally's because I have found the Dews Big Papa I, I wouldn't be repurchasing this one because I feel like I definitely get more moisture for sure from the Dews Big Papa than I do this one but it's not like this one was drying my hair out or anything it's just that the Dew uh, gel was superior that was it but this was fine and it plays well with other things in case you were looking to support Curly Bell their jelly coconut styling gel and it's better than the one from Unicurl as well because it, it does have more hold, more firm, form, and it made my curls look like they had more definition by far than the Unicurl gel that I showed earlier. So that's for sure. Um, okay, I've said many times in the past that I'm not a mousse gal and I don't, uh, you know, I don't really find use for it. But I saw a woman on Instagram who was doing all these like perm rod sets and her hair was coming out really nice and she was using mousse to basically get it to set and I was like oh, let me try it since I have like different mousses here let me just see I thought all mousses were created equal they are not I'm going to tell you which one reigns supreme and at least in my mind so I used Allocate Naturals lemongrass styling mousse and I used the perm rod rollers and I rolled it up next day took it out my curls looked like they had shine they weren't crunchy it was very nice I have as you can see I ended up liking the process now yes I did pump out a lot of it I'm heavy-handed this wasn't all in one use I've used it more than once because I was also doing some testing things with the perm rod so I can say this is the mousse that I like most number two would be from the dew but this is a heavier mousse and here's the, also the other thing I'm going to tell you. These two are both um, thick and somewhat heavy mousses. This one, though, has some oils in it as well because the thing I'm going to tell you is when I took those perm rods out, what I most appreciated, and this is why this is going to be my number one place position for um, mousse, the category of having a mousse, is that my curls looked shiny and I already told you how I am with the shine right my hair doesn't do shine but it, they looked shiny it looked healthy it was really nice but it had the weight enough weight and especially the do one has even more weight on my curls to make them submit and go around the perm rod roller I thought like oh all mooses are gonna foam up and 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 do that same thing no they don't because here's where you know going less expensive doesn't always work out I saw that because TGIN yeah, TGIN <laughs> is sold through Ulta. They were having a 50% off sale and they had their rose water curl defining mousse being sold for, it went down, it was to $4 or something like that, something really cheap. So I was like, since that mousse works for my hair, instead of waiting for Allocate Naturals Black Friday sale, which I think is like 40, 45%, something like that. I was like, let me just get this for $4.99. I'll be able to do the current perm rod roller set whenever I want and then it's going to be great. This is, and I don't have any more of the allocate one to pump out and show you that's really gone. But this one from TGIN is really, really light. The scent is much like the rest of the curl, the rose water line, which I'll show you some of those items in a second. But this mousse is really, really light. So getting my hair to stop being curly and in an afro form and just kind of submit to the weight of this is so light that what weight? No, it wasn't submitting. So it was more of a struggle to get it to go around the perm rod and lay down because you can't expect it to be a nice refined curl in the morning if the curls are not going around the perm rod. So this showed me that they're not all created equal. I would say skip this one, get either the do, but I prefer the scent and the fact that my curls look shinier when I used uh, the Allocate Naturals mousse, the lemongrass one, than when I used the Dew one. But the Dew is a close follow-up to it. 
Um, they both gave me the weight I needed to get my hair to just kind of form around that perm rod. So you can get either of these for Black Friday. I, that would be the Get This in terms of the mousse. The Skip It would be the TGIN Rose Water Curl Defining Mousse. It's really, really light. Unless you have a really, really soft like hair texture, then you would be fine. Wrap it around that perm rod and you're good to go. Um, because I can say though that it's in the end, I was able to get it done. I just had to use more of it to actually get it to work. And I can tell you that I use this. Here's a positive on this one, TJN. I used it to kind of um, detangle my hair. This mousse can actually do that. Let me show you. I know I haven't been showing you ingredients because I am trying to speed this up a bit. But I have been, I use it to detangle my hair and twist. And my twist had a measure of moisture um, still the next day. So it wasn't bad at all. And this is supposed to be their like moisturizing kind of line and all that. And um, so it wasn't bad as that. I can certainly finish the bottles that I did purchase at the $4.99 price. But if I'm looking for a perm rod set that I want to do, and this Black Friday, I am thinking that I'm going to go back and try and get more of this one. But this is regularly priced at $14.99. So, you know, I may try and get another one of those. But if not, it wouldn't kill me to just finish these. I can make them work. It's just not going to look as shiny. It's not going to look shiny at all, actually, with these. That was the other piece. This didn't look shiny, my curls, when I took it off the perm rod. These, my curls, after using Alicay, absolutely look shiny. And they looked healthy after using the dew but not like it had added shine to it but it looked healthy but this one looked kind of dryish so I did have to add something on top to try and try and make it like gleam a little bit but um in the end the curls were fine it was just I needed to do more work to make the TGIN one work this one I could barely pump out this is from Sunny Isle this is their Jamaican black castor oil mousse I can't even really say anything about that because it's pretty much still up to like about here uh can't really pump that bad boy out the other one that is like this is probably the worst mousse pump of all time this is like i'll see if maybe i can try the allocane naturals pump in this and see if anything would work but this one that they released from the green collection from curls one year the avocado um mousse now this one can look look how it comes out you think it's just like that time no it all spits out the scent of it is not not bad. It's like almost like a green scent, like a almost like a green smoothie, but they elevate it a bit where they try to make it not like harsh, like bitter. So it, it comes down just like that. It's like really runny. This is not a good pump. I don't know if it's just this pump talk. I excuse me, should try and move it with a try it with something else, but it wasn't great as well and it also gives me sticky vibes like it leaves me a little sticky I'm like um no thanks so the hands down winner for the mousse would be Alicay Naturals and the Dew so those would be the two get this and the other ones you can ignore those oh I'm nope I'm gonna keep going even if I have to split this video sorry oh <laughs> chocolate curls and kinks um this is jar number two because the first one was the red one is it a strawberry one or some other thing but it's the red label one and the clay itself is actually red or kind of more pinkish this is the bentonite clay one I was not as wild by it as many people were this is not the best clay I've ever used this one does have that little cocoa like chocolate kind of scent to it smells nice my hair was clean after I used it it's just that I've used clays where my hair felt really really defined and like whew, like detox but not stripped but also really clean and my curls were trying to you know bounce or like have some like definition this didn't do that to the same degree it was fine but it's not something that I'm rushing out to get especially because it's not uh, a cheap brand not that she needs to make her things super inexpensive I'm not saying that but um yeah no so this would be a don't get this for me BTMS right there avocado oil right so it, it's fine it just wasn't um amazing to me to run out and get that again a deep conditioner that I would like to get this Black Friday again is the honey and hibiscus more moisture please deep conditioner from curl origin so you know off branch of she sent it <laughs> um, but it's its own company but yeah so this honey and hibiscus I would like to have this one again this is all I have left is a th thick deep conditioner but my hair was drinking it in it felt moisturized even upon application washing it out still felt moisturized and soft so I like that and let me show you the ingredient list 
it's water oh it's shiny so you're probably not going to be able to see that but the first very first ingredient is water infused with marshmallow extract and yes and my hair felt soft with this it has avocado oil in here it also has sweet almond oil in here um anything else really delicious sunflower seed oil but that's toward the bottom anyway my hair oh uh honey is on like row number three certainly in some of the ingredients that preceded are long in terms of length so it could rightfully be like it's ingredient number one two Oh, it's ingredient number four, actually. That's why, because some of the things are long names. But yeah, it's ingredient number four. I like this. I would like to get more of it this Black Friday. That's a deep conditioner to get. Let me just do this company. Okay, no, let me do this. Since I just mentioned deep conditioner, let me talk this one. TJN came out with, I think this one came out last year or the year before. I don't remember. The Miracle Repair Curl Food. And they have a deep conditioner. I had gotten the whole line because she released it. It says with black honey and coconut oil. And I remember it made a, a big stink. This is the curl food one, but she has... The packaging is pretty much the same. She has a deep conditioner of this. And people are saying, oh, it's pretty much like the Miracle Mask that she had, like the first level one. They were like, it's pretty much the same ingredient list, except it was a different type of honey <laughs> she had used. And they were like, hey, this is same kind of thing. But the ingredient list was quite similar. So I have this entire line. And I actually see that I brought the curl food to you, not actually the deep conditioner. But let's just use our imagination here. Um, it's thick. It performs in a similar way to that um, miracle one or the honey mask whatever her original one is that people loved which I was never in love with it I thought it was fine but I it was never on my best of list and so similarly the one that comes in this type of packaging the miracle repair cruel food was all well the mask the deep conditioner was also not on my best of list but it was fine but one of those things that I could like shrug my shoulder at like mm, I don't need to have it but this year she came out with the TGIN Rose Water Hydrating Hair Mask. And I think she does promote this for low porosity hair, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, it says with rose water, acai berry. There we go. This one is a thick one. And even though the jar has like this pink color, the conditioner itself, the deep conditioner is actually, and I don't want to slide out because it can slide. It's a slidey time. Is white, as you can see. This one is really nice I, I this is my favorite tgin conditioner hands down and again because it's now sold through ulta i was able to make use of those 50 percent off sales and i certainly did get some backup so <laughs> i'm good with this and on my low porosity hair it definitely leaves my hair feeling moisturized even when i apply this to my hair it allows me to get my fingers through it it's a thick conditioner but as you can see it was like sliding in the jar so it has like slip here let me just show and to me it is superior than her first level mask but again she's doing this one with a specific hair type in mind so if you're not low porosity I don't know if maybe your results would be different or you wouldn't like it as much especially if you really 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 love her first edition one which I don't really love like that like it was fine but it was nothing to write home about to me but this one is something that I would write home about. Maybe we won't have the same experience if you really, really love that first one. Just as I didn't. But this one I really do enjoy. Let's take a look at the ingredients if we can do that. Mm. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Water. And then the very next thing is rose flower extract number two. I like when they're true to whatever they're calling it. Being high on the ingredient list. So there we go. And the scent. I didn't talk about the scent. Mm, I guess floral y kind of. <laughs> so that's this one. For me, from her curl, her rose water line, the deep conditioner is the absolute get this. Also, from that same line, the rose water smoothing leave in conditioner is a get this for me. One of my favorite. Yes, I put this, I, I'm pretty sure I already typed this on my best of list, and I have backups of this. So this is a leave-in and you know I already don't necessarily care if I need to roll with a leave-in because I can ignore them and just say give me a good moisturizer. So if it's a leave-in that I'm saying like yes I can purchase that it's actually doing something. It's not just sitting on my hair but it's actually providing moisture. I appreciate it. So this is another get this from the TGIN line. 
from the rose water collection the leave-in conditioner as well as the hydrating hair mask if you had to pick one over the other i would say go with this hydrating hair mask make that your pick give it a shot see if you like it especially if you want to support the tgin brand the things that i would say you could freely skip would be the tgin rose water curl defining styling gel which i did find the curl bomb and the ingredient list is is not identical but they perform in a quite similar way to me i found nothing that was like really hydrating or you know anything it was my hair was left you know it had the cast the curls were in formation it gave me good definition all of that but I like my gels to be softer in terms of hold and you can see a difference maybe in the consistency this one can kind of shake around and jiggle this one not so much this one seems firmer but in the end my curls seem to be just as have a similar cast between the two of them so these are not my favorite I would skip both of these actually but um, the shampoo was a regular, regular shampoo for me from the uh, same Camille, um, Camille Rose, the same TGIN Rose Water Collection. It's a sulfate-free hydrating shampoo. I didn't find that it was necessarily hydrating and cleansed my hair. But if you had not said the word hydrating on this thing, uh, like it didn't need to be said there because... I didn't find hydration from it. It was fine. It didn't do anything to make my hair feel drier, but it was just a regular run-of-the-mill shampoo. I know I didn't show you ingredients list on this. It's, it's super long. And I wanted to get to one other brand, and then I'm going to call it Kowitz because we can talk about the rest in the description box. Yes. Oh, well, if I don't say anything about this other brand, you won't know it was sitting here, right? <laughs> so, um... <laughs> yeah okay the other brand i want to talk to you about and i have to mention this one because i, I made reference to it uh, probably two times during this video is from honey's handmade she always does like a really good sale what 60 65 percent off something like that and she already announced that she's releasing a chebe conditioner and some other new conditioner so even though honey's handmade was not on my list and i was saying no i'm not going to purchase it i may i may get something and support um but for sure the majority of her products that I've tried do not work for me so I'm I don't even need to necessarily go through all of these there are just a few things that I want to highlight as I don't get if she's selling this again during Black Friday as a um as an individual this sweet potato low poo co-wash cleansing butter this was the one that I was talking about earlier when I said there was a product on my hair that as it's on my it's literally on my hair and I can feel the brittleness and dryness of my hair like it did absolute it sat there it did absolutely nothing to attempt to moisturize I washed it out and I was like okay because some things maybe it didn't do it while it was on top of your hair but maybe when you wash it out it leaves something behind and try and do nothing it, it literally left my hair as it was except for the fact that yes it can remove like you know if you have some gel and stuff in the air it can do the cleansing piece but absolutely nothing by way of moisture this was re this was probably the worst thing that I've ever used from honey's handmade this is an absolute don't get this for me and the smell I guess it's supposed to be like nutmeggy type of scent I guess it's supposed to mimic in some ways the um sweet potato like a sweet potato pie or something but I wouldn't get sorry <laughs> yeah so I wouldn't get uh Time. so I would definitely not get this again we're just going to ignore that sound right there so I definitely wouldn't get this it's very creamy most of her products are this kind of creamy formula this one I also found to be lumpy too though I found lumps in there and this wasn't my only jar of it this is just the second one I'm trying to finish up which I will it's a co-wash I'll get rid of it but if you want a co-wash from Honey's Handmade it is my um I think I may have brought it in here because that is the one I would recommend I hope I brought it in here because that is yeah I did and this one is still sealed but I've used jars of this it is the cherry almond tapioca co-wash this is the co-wash from honey's handmade that i would say this is the get this skip the um the one i just showed you the sweet potato one because that one left my hair feeling dry it felt dry when it was on it it did nothing there were no redeeming qualities for that particular one but the tapioca one definitely leaves my hair feeling soft and good and moisturized and i like it so it's a nice co-wash nice co-wash um did we talk about kennedy essentials I don't know that I did because I actually wanted to talk about it when I mentioned the hibiscus earlier in this video because Kennedy Essentials is a brand I've never purchased from before but she is coming out with um, but it seems like a very lovely brand and the owner seems very nice and all that stuff and she's coming out for Black Friday with a hibiscus and amla 
conditioning, deep conditioning treatment. And people seem to love her regular conditioner, which comes in like, seems like a little chubby tug. So I, tub. So I may actually support that brand this Black Friday as well. The other thing that I wanted to mention, because there are not many standouts for me from from um, Honey's Handmade, but I did try the, oh, okay, this was one. This one wasn't bad. The Peppermint Deep Penetrating Mask. It's not like it necessarily penetrated. And again, these all kind of look the same. Me showing you the white creamy jar. That's pretty much what they all look like. I was able to get this through my hair. Oh, look how that just kind of like disappeared, right? I was able to get it through my hair. It wasn't a tugging session with this product in my hair. So I was able to get it through. It left my hair feeling better than it did before I put it on. But it, again, it wasn't to a, a state where I'm like, you must get this peppermint uh, deep penetrating mask. None of her, the majority of her products don't work well for me, but I like, they seem like a very friendly and nice brand. The owner seems very nice. So those are the kind of people you want to support. Um, a better thing for me um, would be the blueberry yogurt deep conditioning mask. This had a nice amount of slip for me. And this one is creamy as well. Again, they're all going to pretty much look the same. And I'm sorry, I know I'm not showing you ingredients now, but there are a lot of Honey's Handmade things that I've purchased. The only thing that I want to, I guess, make mention of is the difference between some of these things that are called butters. Oh, I did like this also. The Black Soap Honey and Avocado Co-Wash from Honey's Handmade. This, I only had one jar of it, and I'm at the very end. I actually, it, this one is very runny and loose. This one, um, I saved just so I can show you the actual product. This is, again, a very wet, loose product here. This particular one has a really, and I wasn't expecting it because it's a black soap one, so I wasn't necessarily going into it expecting as much slip as I got, but it felt really nice. It's not better than the, and I'm not talking about slip, I just mean overall performance. It's not better than the cherry almond tapioca one from Honey's Handmade, but this is a nice one that I would not mind getting my hands on again, so I will be... If I do anything with Honey's Handmade, I will be trying to get the Black Soap Honey and Avocado Co-Wash. Um, I don't need any more of the tapioca because I actually have some backups of this. So I'm fine in that department. The other thing that I wanted to mention to you about... Okay, some things will be called butters. And with when you see the word butter, you may have a certain expectation. So this is her uh, Pumpkin and Kapoasu Puree Twist Butter. This one... And it smells, yep, like pumpkin. It's a thick white cream, much like many of her other products. This one also says it's a whipped hair butter. But this may be what you're considering more of a traditional butter. It's like a grease. This is different, right? So just know with the labels. And there may not be a way for you to tell other than by looking at the ingredient list and see like, oh, yeah, this one has shea butter in it or this or that or whatever to kind of figure out what the formulation will be. Because this one is more creamy I wouldn't I personally wouldn't label this one a butter because that other one breaks down as you can see very easily it's like a butter filled with oils and when you rub it down it breaks down to an oil this one is more like just a cream she could have called it like a pumpkin and kapoasu puree twisting cream it's a thick cream but it's a cream so that's honey's handmade I pretty much went through everything I wanted to go through I guess the only other thing was Annabelle's perfect blend which um, I did get the hair cream, the simple hair cream, and also the um, Ayurvedic hair cream. I got them in two different scents. The Ayurvedic one, I got an iced pineapple, which when I first got it and opened it, it didn't smell as much like uh, the pineapple. But then as it was just sitting here more and more, and you know, months have passed, it's like really that pineapple scent. Maybe it just needed, maybe it was like freshly packaged right before it came to me. But now the pineapple scent is really pronounced. I enjoy it. It smells really good. This iced pineapple scent. Okay, how does this apply on my hair? Both of them, they're quite similar. Uh, let me show you. Maybe you can't see the ingredients on this. Mm, printing up the label. It may be best if you... Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait, maybe. Okay. All right. So this particular product here, um, and I'll say the other hair cream to the Ayurvedic one because they are both pretty similar. All right. So this one, let me just show you. Really, really soft and creamy. It goes into my hair. If my hair, let's say my hair is in a super dry state and I put this on, the creaminess can help it to kind of melt away some of that dryness that's underlying in my hair. And it feels good. The only thing is, as the days progress, now, here's the thing. Difference between the Product Junkie Natural one, as I described this. As the days go on, yes, it will feel more and more greasy. But it's, uh, it's like the greasiness 
dies down right so in the beginning it feels like a cream it just goes on like a cream but as the days go on I'm feeling more of the oil of it but as as that as the week progresses and continues to progress it's not like it feels like oh wow it's still just a bunch of oil on my head it's like the oil starts to go away it starts to disappear but my hair underneath is not feeling crunchy it's not feeling super moisturized either I definitely need to add something to it but um it goes away almost in stages like the greasiness comes in first then that goes away it's left with I don't want to say moisture but it's not left feeling like a, a tree branch like a twig it's not felt feeling like that whereas the um product junkie natural one definitely feels drier and just like it's dry underneath with grease on top this one has like it tries to maintain for as long as it can a measure of moisture but then that grease goes away and then you know you just need to do something else to your hair but it's not necessarily that i need to refresh and wash my hair and start again i can throw something else on top and it's agreeable to that so that kind of works the other thing that i got from but Okay, am I going to repurchase these? No, because I have moisturizers that work better for me, but these weren't horrible. They were just, you know, not not my fave in terms of moisturizers. Please tell me your experience. I know I kind of blew through Honey's Handmade, and I have many other things through Honey's Handmade, but I feel like I get the best results using Honey's Handmade, Honey's Handmade things that wash out instead of things that stay in my hair so if anything I would be interested in things that can wash out like a conditioner a deep conditioner um co-wash things that I can kind of expel from my head quickly those I can because it's hard to kind of go through a custard or a butter and finish the jar if you know on first application you kind of are not feeling it anyway the other thing I got from this doesn't have the label I'm pretty sure this is from Annabelle's perfect blend as yeah it is yeah a, a little teddy bear it's a three-in-one it's a leave-in conditioner it's a moisturizer it's I think a styler was that number three um as you can see I didn't use much I didn't go far in the bear's head it didn't leave me feeling moisturized but again I'm a special case because my hair is really dry it doesn't have ingredients or anything on like the bear so um you would have to check our site to see what that consists of but again paraben free and all that stuff but Annabelle's perfect blend I can say they have a wide range of options so you can try many different things and I don't know what her Black Friday sale is like I've never purchased during the Black Friday period but that's it for me I hope I addressed all the concerns that you had there was something else that I was going to tell you my Black Friday list is relatively short um I know I've said that before but can you tell me if any of you have tried kinky tresses I'm not looking for referrals to videos where people got the product for free no shade but I because then once I got past some of those I saw videos where people were they seem to be most impressed with the butter so if you personally have used that product can you tell me what your experience is with kinky kinky tresses and also I was looking to check out mellow hair products if anyone's used that and also a leave-in conditioner from a brand called I'm O Natural. Um, have you tried any of those things? Otherwise, it's kind of the stuff that I told you I was going to use. Also, keep in mind, Pat McGrath, this is not about hair, but makeup. Last year on Black Friday, she released, not released, but she had a sale where her expensive matte trance lipsticks went down to ten dollars each and even though I ordered three of them and I only got two because they ended up selling out even though I had paid for them but they of course sent me my money back and I only got the one that was still a good deal and even though I was annoyed I'm willing to try it again this year because I still have my eye on those two shades that I wanted from last Black Friday and I said Kennedy Essentials I was looking to support I probably get something from them and sultanicals I mentioned already and yeah but my list is really short and light and thank you for watching and this is a long video but I hope you're all doing well and I will talk to you soon and see you you know soon <laughs> bye